Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new, my name is LJ and you're watching No Clutch Garage. And today we're gonna be doing a mod to my car that I wasn't expecting on doing, uh, at least anytime soon, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Uh, so we're gonna be putting on a strut bar on my car. I know that you guys have probably seen these strut bars, um, you know, pretty much any aftermarket store that you can find online. And a lot of people just put them on because they look good cosmetically, but they actually do have a function. It's a very limited function, but it's something that could actually help you a lot if it's a good strut bar. So I bought a strut bar that caught my eye mainly because <laughs> it looks red and it's really nice. But uh, I wanted to try it out and just give it a shot because I've heard a lot about these strut bars, but I've never actually looked into them and what the actual benefits are. So obviously one of the main benefits of having a strut bar is that it's gonna stiffen up your suspension and more specifically your front end. So what do we mean by tightening up the front end? Well, basically what the strut bar is gonna do is gonna help increase the rigidity of the chassis. And by doing that, you're gonna feel your car be more planted when you take turns and uh, curvy roads. Now this isn't so much a mod that you would need, you know, for daily driving or even for drag racing. I mean, you do want to have a good suspension for drag racing, but you will notice the most benefit if you're ripping the back roads or if you're on a track. Now I've been hesitant to do anything like this to my car just mainly because I think the car handles really well already and I haven't taken my car to the track. So there really hasn't been a reason for me to go really crazy on suspension mods because if i was that kind of person that was tracking their car you know pretty often then the main thing that i would have gone for in terms of tuning and in terms of modification i would have gone with the suspension first and foremost but i thought i would take this opportunity to go ahead and install it and show you how to install it in the process it's super simple this will honestly take you like four or five minutes to install from beginning to end. But I'm gonna break it down for you and let's go ahead and look at it. So guys, this is the strut bar that I got. It's nice and red. I actually really like it. But we're gonna go ahead and install it on my car. The process I'm about to show you is gonna work the same on both sides. So I'm gonna show you in detail on one side and then I'm gonna complete the other side and show you the final result. But basically, we're gonna be moving this guy back a little bit revealing these three bolts so we're going to be removing these three bolts and we're going to go ahead and attach this part of the strut bar on there and we're not going to tighten any of these bolts right now we're just going to put it in place and then once everything is in place we can start tightening things down so to remove the bolts you're going to need a 13 millimeter socket and i'm using a long socket right now but uh, a short socket would do just fine and then i, I always recommend an extender that's just it just makes things easier and of course just a ratchet and go ahead and take them off all right guys now that that has been removed we can go ahead and place our strut bar and that will go right in there like that all right so now we take our bolts and we're just gonna hand torque them uh, i don't want to tighten everything just yet until we get the other side in so we're just gonna hand tighten these all right guys now that we have these bolts in here we're not gonna tighten them up we're just gonna hand tighten them we're gonna go over to the other side and do the same thing we did here Now that everything has been bolted in hand tight, now we can grab our ratchet and start ratcheting it, all of these in. All right guys, whenever you get to this part where we have to bolt everything down, we're gonna be using a torque wrench to bolt these guys down. Uh, these bolts are gonna be torqued down with 20 pound feet of torque and a quarter turn. So, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. But that's the torque spec for these bolts. And you're gonna do this on this side, 
and the other side. All right, guys, so I have my torque wrench here set to 20 pound-feet of torque. So we're gonna go ahead and So right there it pops. And where it pops, you're gonna give it a quarter turn. There you go. That's a quarter turn. And so you're gonna do that for each one of the bolts. All right guys, now that you have the strut brace in place, we're gonna go ahead and tighten these bolts up. And to tighten these bolts up, you're gonna be using uh, an 18 millimeter socket in the front and a 17 in the back or you can use wrenches i'm going to use two uh, ratchets and we're going to tighten it up so you're going to get your 17 and then you're going to get your 18 in place and then you're just gonna tighten them counterclockwise of each other and that's going to get them uh, tightened up Now, as far as tightening these, I, I couldn't find a torque spec for this, but I would say that you want it as tight as you possibly can because this is the whole purpose of having the strut bar here is to create stiffness, right? So we want to have this as tight as possible across the engine bay. And so, yeah, I definitely recommend you, you know, to go ahead and tighten it as much as you can. That has been it for the installation of this strut bar. It's made by Weichers, but it's German, so it's probably like Beichers or Beechers or something like that. Um, but anyway, I will link it down below so you guys can take a look at it and decide if you want it or not. But in any case, that has been it for the installation. I think it looks really good, to be honest. Yeah, now I feel like I have to accent my engine bay with some red so we'll see about that they also include these little like stickers and i guess these go on the strut bar depending on whichever one you have f30 or m2 or whatever uh, if you want to put them on there i don't know some people don't like to have a whole bunch of badges and stuff i know i have the one for the ftp charge pipe that's pretty visible uh right there but if you're the kind of person that doesn't like that kind of thing then you know obviously you can keep it off I think I'm going to put it on though, just because I think it looks cool, but I um, haven't decided if I want it centered or to the right or to the left, so um, I'll leave that for another day. Alright guys, that has been it for this video. Thank you so much if you stuck by and watched the whole thing. Um, that really helps me a lot, and I enjoy providing these videos for you guys. It's stuff that I'm doing to my car anyway, so you know, why not document it? But anyway, guys, thank you for all your support. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down in the comment section down below. Go ahead and give this video a like. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will be seeing you next video.